What's up my fellow binge travelers? Now today I have a great video for you guys because today I'm talking about the things I wish I knew for going to Disney World. And as you all know, because you definitely watch all my videos, that I just got back from a recent trip to Disney. Link in the description. And while I was there, I was thinking about all the things that I wish I knew before planning the trip in the first place. Now you've probably heard this first tip a million times, but it's super important. So listen. I want you to get your fast passes 60 days in advance please please get your fast passes 60 days in advance if you wait you may not get those fast passes you really really want now, for our latest trip to disney world the 60 day mark fell in the middle of our disney cruise so you know what we did we bought the 100 a second cruise ship wi-fi just to get fast pass but we got fast passes for all the rides we wanted at the exact times we wanted so it's really really worth it to get these fast passes 60 days in advance now if you're not staying in a disney world owned hotel you can get your fast passes 30 days in advance at that point you'll kind of have to take what's left but it's still worth it to get those 30 30 day fast pass you'll never know what's available so you may as well try totally worth it to skip all the lines for the big attractions i promise now if you want a video on fast passes and which ones you should get every single time leave a comment down below letting me know so don't wait guys get your fast passes as soon as possible please trust me now this next tip may be a bit controversial so hang in there with me if you are someone who always purchases the disney dining plan it may not be worth it all the time and if you're someone who never buys a Disney dining plan, it may be worth it, so look into it. So there aren't a lot of people in the middle on this. You either love or hate the Disney dining plan, but I'm telling you, be in the middle, be on the fence, because sometimes it will save you a lot of money, and sometimes you're spending a lot of money that you didn't necessarily need to spend. I know personally, I always get the Disney dining plan, but it seems like every trip we take, we have like 50 snack credits left over, and we have no idea what to do with them. So do the math and make sure the Disney dining plan works for you and your family, which leads me straight into my next point about rest Restaurant. This tip is very important, so listen up. Do not, I repeat, do not stand in line for the character. I know some of you just dropped to the floor and are freaking out right now. Josh, I have a toddler and she really wants to see the princess. Josh, I have a wife and she really wants to see all the princesses. Josh, I have a husband and he really wants to see all the princesses. Guys, I didn't say don't meet the characters, I said don't stand in line for the characters. Now I need you to hit the like button if you think this is a good tip. Instead of waiting an hour in line for characters, book character meals. This is what I do every time and it works amazing. You can take pictures with Mickey, Donald, Cinderella, Wayne the Pooh, the Mad Hatter. You name it, you can take a picture with them at the character meals and you don't have to wait in line and they come to you while you're eating delicious food. It's amazing. Why would you ever wait in line? We love seeing the characters, which is why we always book character meals instead of waiting in line. Our favorite character meals are breakfast at Ohana in the Polynesian Resort <laughs> and lunch at the Tusker House in Animal Kingdom. I would highly suggest those two character meals and there's tons more like Chef Mickey's and otherwise, but those are the two best in my opinion. Which brings me right on into my next point, which is make sure you're booking your breakfast, lunch, and dinner reservations 180 days in advance. That's six months. This is actually one I personally failed on because I waited too long for a BR guest restaurant reservation, so make sure you don't do that. I also had to book a table for four when there were actually six of us at Beaches and Cream Soda Shop when we were eating the kitchen sink, but luckily it was late at night and they let us in and we all squeezed into a booth. But be safe and book your reservations 180 days in advance. Okay, so we're going rapid fire now. Make sure you're using the My Disney Experience app. If you're on the older side or if you're my parents, you don't like using your phone, but you should use it. The My Disney Experience app does so much. You can check where you are on the map, change fast pass reservation. You can also make dining reservations. There's so much you can do on the My Disney Experience app. Make sure you're using it at all times when you're at Disney. All right, time for the next tip. You're going to Disney World and it's most likely a once in a lifetime trip. So you want to make it special. And the best way to treat yourself while on vacation is staying at a nice resort. My latest trip, I stayed at the Beach and Yacht Club Resort. And let me tell you, it was absolutely amazing. I'm working on a video about the best Disney resorts. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Being able to have a home away from home is what Disney is all about. Not to mention the ease of transportation to all the parks and the beautiful pools and restaurants. I would even suggest having an entire day dedicated to just staying at your resort or better yet go resort hop. So the next thing you need to know about is the weather at Disney. So what I'm about to say is something no one ever talks about. Before planning your trip to Disney, you need to study the weather inside and out. Know that in the summer, it's going to be hot and it can rain. Know that in the winter, it can be 80 degrees at sunrise and 40 degrees at sunset. Florida weather can be crazy sometimes. Check the weather for the dates you're going and look at the average conditions in that month and then plan your trip accordingly. Talked about using your phones earlier, so make sure you're using them to take pictures and record your entire trip. Having the chance to look at all of your special memories is absolutely amazing. Plus, it's really fun to record yourself at Disney. Don't forget about Downtown Disney either. Wait, no. 
Disney Springs. Don't forget about Disney Springs either. There are a lot of things to do there. The restaurants and shops are amazing and the atmosphere is totally different from the parks. I usually go on the day of arrival instead of going to the actual park. So give it a shot. Speaking of giving it a shot, you should be planning your Disney trip. Me being me, I love to plan, possibly a little bit too much. On our most recent trip, I made an entire color-coded spreadsheet of fast pass times, show times, bathroom breaks, shopping breaks, restaurant times, and the best times to do this and that. In no way do you need to do all that, but it's good to have a reasonable plan. I know what you're saying. Josh, I like to go with the flow and I don't want to plan anything. Well, lucky for you, if you're watching my videos, I'm essentially doing the planning for you. I also handpicked you a new video to watch. It's the time I met the Temp Tracker just a week ago and I completely fanboy about being in one of his videos. I'll see you there.